I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Here are two application questions which we are going to discuss. These are based on related rates. They are very similar with a minor difference. Question number one is, a ship N is sailing due north at 20 km per hour and a second ship E which is 50 km north of N is sailing due east at 12 km per hour. At what rate is the distance between N and E changing 90 minutes later? Question number two is, two cars approach an intersection. Car A is traveling south at 60 km per hour and car B is traveling west at 80 km per hour. At 10 am, the cars are 3 km north and 4 km east of the intersection. How fast is the distance between these cars changing at this time? Right. So question number 2 is relatively simple, but that is going to help us understand the concept. So we'll begin with the solution of question number 2, uh, understand the concept and then we'll try question number 1. So there are two cars approaching at an intersection. So let's say, uh, let's say that is the intersection. Car A is traveling south at 60 kilometers per hour. So let's say this is traveling south at 60 kilometers per hour. And we are calling this as our car A. Car B is traveling west 80 kilometers per hour okay at 10 a.m. the cars are 3 kilometers north so this one is 3 kilometers north let's say this time and that this distance here is 3 kilometers at this time and 4 kilometers east of intersection so the other car is on this side and is 4 kilometers so it's traveling from here so we'll keep this kind of like this. So that is the position of car B at a particular instance. 10 a.m. How fast is the distance between these cars changing at this time? So at this particular time, what is the rate of change of the distance right between these two cars? This is what you have to figure out. So in such situations, let us write down what we know and what we can find. So we know this is a right triangle. So this 3 and 4 will give us distance between them as 5, right? So clearly A to B distance between them is square root of 3 square plus 4 square. So we take a numbers which are very simple to work with. We'll assume this to be <clears throat> x and y, right? So now as the time is going by, the distance of both is decreasing, right? So when we take this uh, rate of change, so this is along y, this is along x. So dy dt is the speed of the car going south, which is 60 kilometers per hour. But we'll take this as negative since the distances are decreasing. And similarly, for dx dt, it is also approaching and therefore its speed, which is given to us as 80 kilometers per hour, will also be taken as negative. At the given instance, the values of x and y are what? y is equal to 3, x is equal to uh, 4. Right, it's 4 kilometers. And the separation, let's call this separation as S. S, the separation is 5. We can relate these three quantities by Pythagorean theorem, which is S square equals to X square plus Y square, and uh, differentiate with respect to time. So when you do that, you get 2S ds dt equals to 2x dx dt plus 2y 
dy dt correct now you can always cancel the twos and then find we, we are interested in what is ds dt at this time rate of change of their separations right so so ds dt is equal to dividing by this s and here we have x times dx dt plus y times dy dt. Now in such situations always you will land up with this particular formula. So I hope that part is absolutely clear. The only thing which is different in the question will be these values. So you can now substitute these values and calculate. So we have 5 here for s x is 4 right so we have 4 here so 4 times dx dt is minus 80 plus 3 times minus 60 so both have been taken as negative since they are decreasing the distance and they are approaching so that is the concept so of course we get answer which is negative and as you can see in this situation Separation is decreasing. That's what it means. Let's calculate these values. We have 4 times 80. I'm just going to add them. Uh, 3 times 60. And we are going to divide them by 5 to get the answer, which is 100 with a negative sign, right? So what you get here is 100. The units are kilometers per hour. Is that clear? and a negative sign means decreasing right so so we can write down that the separation how fast is the distance between these cars changing so the separation is decreasing as you can see from here right so let me just push this a bit so our answer will be distance is decreasing at the rate of 100 kilometers per hour now when we write decreasing then we don't have to write negative answer but if we write ds over dt rate of change we have to write this negative i'm making bigger kilometers per hour is that clear to you so negative in such situations indicate that the separation is decreasing okay now with this in mind let's move on and do our question number one Question number one is, a ship N is sailing due north at 20 kilometers per hour and the second ship E, which is 50 kilometers north of N, is sailing due east at 12 kilometers per hour. At what rate is the distance between N and E changing 90 minutes later? Right. So again, let's make a similar diagram. So now what we are given is that a ship N is sailing due north at 20 kilometers per hour. There is one ship which is sailing north. And the second ship E which is 50 kilometers away. So we know the distance how far it is. And is sailing due east. So 50 kilometers away and is sailing east. So from here we know that this separation uh, at present is 50 okay. now this is sailing at the rate of 12 kilometers per hour and this one is sailing at the rate of 20 kilometers per hour at what rate is the distance between n and e changing 90 minutes later so time is 90 minutes which is 1.5 hours right one and a half hour okay now in that case in one and a half hour we have to find how much distance will each travel correct so let's say this is x and this distance which this travels will be let's say y okay so, <clears throat> so let's say this is right here and it travels a distance which is y 
So now x is the distance traveled east in one and a half hours. Time is this much. And since the speed is 12 kilometers per hour, so it's a velocity in the direction of east times time. And in our case, which is 12 right, times 1.5. So, 12 and a half, which is 18 kilometers. On this side, the value of y will be velocity of this, which is traveling north, and time t. And this velocity is 20, and 1.5 will make this as 30 kilometers. So, this distance is 30, the y value. However, the real y value which we are interested in is this, right? When we make our separation. So what remains here? What remains here is 20. Do you see that part? So this is 20. After 90 minutes, this situation is kind of like this, that uh, the ship which is sailing north is 20 away from this point, right? And uh, the other one has moved outside 18 kilometers. So it's kind of like this situation, right? Okay. So let us say the outer, this has moved x units and uh, let's make this triangle as PQR, PQ and R. In that case, separation S is P to Q, uh, P to R. So which is going to be square root of 20 square plus 18 square. So that is the distance between these two, correct? Let's calculate. So we have 20 square plus 18 square. Square root of our answer is equal to, let's write it in decimals, 26.9. Okay. Now at this time, uh, let me call this x as equal to, uh, we just calculated, uh, which is uh, 18. And let me say y. Uh, remaining r right we are using this distance correct y r as 20 and we know s is this okay now since at this time dx dt that is increasing we'll take this as a positive sign which is 12 kilometers per hour however dy dt will be taken as negative since this is decreasing do you see that so it is minus 20 kilometers per hour. Now going back to what we learned, S square is equals to X square plus Y remaining square, correct? That is what is remaining, right? So uh, that is how this triangle is related, correct? We are looking into this particular triangle. So we have 2S DS DT equals to 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt let me write remaining here and as we did earlier the separation will be equals to 1 over s and here we'll get x times dx dt plus y times dy dt so as you can see this part is always kind of same right so now let's do the calculation so for us, ds dt is equal to, let's use a different thing, ds dt is equal to 1 over the separation s is uh, 26.9, the value of x is 18, and uh, dx dt is 12. That is negative, so I'm writing negative first. y value remaining is 20 times minus 20, that becomes our answer. So let's calculate. So we have 18 times 12, take away 20 times 12, 20, right? Okay. And we'll divide this by 26.9, which in decimals is almost minus 6.84 kilometers per hour. So that's what we get in this particular case. And minus indicates that the separation is decreasing. Right, at the rate of 
6.84 kilometers per hour. Correct? So that is how we are going to do it. So I hope the concept is clear. The idea is that we can have different situations. However, the concept is same. So at that instance, relate x, y and the separation. Use Pythagorean theorem to the differentiation and you can get this formula. And that can be applied directly to find the value. If we have a multiple choice question, this helps, saves all the time. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.